Hello friends, we're talking about a series of devotions where the the Holy Spirit began to use superlatives whenever He speaks in the New Testament about what Jesus died and purchased for you and what is laid up for those who believe. The Holy Spirit always uses superlatives when He speaks about it. It's just amazing in the Scriptures. He He just glows and uses glowing terms and sweeping superlatives. And it's really exciting to discover these treasures and the glory that they allude to. And what the Holy Spirit wants to do is open up these treasures in our life. It's one of the things that Jesus said. He is going to guide you into all of this truth. He's going to speak about, he's going to take from what is mine and make it known to you. There's some profound things the Holy Spirit wants to do in our lives. And and, and it's your day to day. In this session today, I want to examine what Paul called the surpassing grace, the exceeding grace, the extraordinary grace of God. 2 Corinthians 9.14 is where Paul uses this for the first time. And this is a fascinating verse 14 and 15 in 2 Corinthians 9. Fascinating. It's the first of these today and tomorrow we're going to deal with the scripture. But 2 Corinthians 9.14, it says, And in their prayers for you, their hearts will go out to you because of the surpassing grace that God has given you. Thanks be to God for this indescribable gift. Now, Paul said that people would be praying for the Corinthians because of the exceeding grace that was on their lives. See, the Corinthians had welled up in a rich generosity. They had wanted to help. And and although some of them were financially strapped, they'd said, please, we want to. Paul said, you urgently pleaded with us that you wanted to participate in this grace of giving. And so uh, they had leaned forward. They had called out to God and God had put a grace on them to be generous and to be rich in their generosity. And they were easily able to respond to a need with a rich generosity because God had put an extraordinary or what Paul called an excessive grace on them. Now, when you came to Jesus, grace was applied to your life, but not merely enough to scrape by kind of grace, exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ask or imagine kind of grace, surpassing grace is what Paul called it. It's more than enough for everything that you'll ever need. This is surpassing grace. It means grace that goes beyond anything we could imagine. Grace that goes beyond any issue. Grace that fills in any need which gives far more than anything else could ever take from us. It is overflowing, super abundant, going beyond our greatest needs, grace. That's what Paul was talking about. And he said, there's the surpassing grace on your life and people are giving thanks for it. Now, we've all been graced in different areas. Each one of us has been empowered by our Father with diverse gifts of grace that that He called us to be and things He's called us to achieve. And if you and I will walk in humility, God will add more grace to our life because God gives grace to the humble. And so I I just want to say today, we're going to come to our Father humbly and ask Him for His help. Ask Him for more grace. Because the scriptures teach us that we can grow in grace and in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. So today I want to encourage you to come and ask for grace in an area where you have a need. Ask for that grace to be made manifest. It is surpassing grace. That means it goes beyond the problem. It goes beyond the pain. It goes beyond the need that you're facing. And this is a surpassing grace that is accessible to everybody who believes. And you can experience it today if you ask for it. So ask for surpassing grace to overtake you in whatever you're facing today. And more than enough will flow into your life from your Father who loves you. More than enough for all you need. Paul called it the surpassing grace. Well, don't you think it's time that you opened up your heart and said, Lord, Overtake me, surpass me with your grace and ease a peace, a natural anointing to flow and to accomplish things that God has called you to. I dare you to ask for him today. And when you ask, drink it in and receive it because you'll find a surpassing grace is still available to those who believe. We miss you. We think about you all the time. We're praying for you regularly and we're making plans to get back together. Remember this this month. Let's trust God to reach out to those in need. Let's bless people around us. Let's make a difference in our community. God bless you.